In this example, we will study the effect of phase shifter and digital attenuator quantization on the far field pattern. We will also show how to bring S parameter files for the digital phase shifter and the digital attenuator and study the effect of practical measured S parameters on the far field pattern. To begin with, let us open the workspace from the example uh, directory and it is located uh, under the RF um, architecture design phase array analysis and it is called SPARAM uh, dataset phase shifter attenuator dot WSV. In here we can see that we already brought all the S parameter files for this uh, part available from analog devices catalog as well as the um, S parameters for the um, attenuator. If we see this uh, in the designs we have three designs. Design one is an ideal design in which we don't have any limitation of the phase uh, continuous phase that we can achieve. For example if we double click the phase shifter we can see that we want to form a beam in the direction of 20, 25, uh, 20 degrees theta and 25 degrees fa um, azimuth. And the quantization is no. So what happens is when we give this direction, theta and phi, the program automatically calculates the phase shifts required for the antenna elements and it, it applies the to the signal and finally to the antenna uh, phased array. The same thing is true for the digital attenuator. We have no quantization so any attenuation level is possible. With this if we simulate and if we want to pr plot the patterns we have this uh, equation here so let us initially comment the other two and then post process this pattern and then we see that we formed a beam this is pretty even pretty nice and then you know a good side lobe uh, low enough side lobe level if we want to minimize the side lobe level we can further go and request that in the tapering of the digital attenuator we can even see where the beam is which is 250 and 25 that's what we requested in the phase shifter here now let's move on to another design where we have the quantization effect is is shown so design number two design quant schematic in this schematic if we open this we are saying we have a quantization. The quantization is uh, in terms of number of bits. Actually we can give the quantization as custom levels or the number of bits. We have 4 bit phase shifter here meaning that we have 16 levels of um, quantization. So we can have 360 divided by 16 as the phase shift uh, step that is possible. No phase in between these 16 discrete values of phase shifts is possible. Similarly we have the attenuator and we have 5 bit attenuator so 32 levels of attenuation are possible and we apply them to the uh, any calculations of the attenuation we do. So with this if we simulate we can see that um, it, the simulation is done quick but for the plot patterns let us go and then activate uncomment these lines uh, for for the quantization effect and then if we run right mouse click and run these equations we see that for the quantization we got this so comparing this with the previous one um, 
let's close all the windows and then open the ideal pattern as well as the quantization pattern and then let us tile them vertically and if you see that um, if we go to the isometric view of this isometric view of this you see that there is a significant change in the side lobe uh, shapes and levels and number of side lobes as well one we can go in and make on measurement and then see the effect of quantization on this the third study that we want to do is on a schematic where uh, we have actually brought the S parameter files from a vendor catalog. In this case, we brought this particular part number HMC 543ALC4B. The S parameters are supplied and then ca in the catalog we brought them and then we provided them. These are measured S parameter files. So if you double click, we chose number of bits as four and then the S parameter file, the data set name. So we, we imported those S parameter files into the data set of the workspace. So we have them already in the data set. Similarly, we have the S parameter files for the five bit attenuator, 32 files in this case. For the previous one, there are 16 files. So if you see here, these are the 32 files for the attenuator and here we have 16 files for the phase shifter. We can run simulation and when when the, for example, in this case, we still request 25 and 250 directional angles into which we want to form the beam. So the phase shifts and the 20 dB uh, side lobe level requirement for the attenuator, it create the uh, program calculates the required phase shifts and the required attenuation values and it then applies the corresponding um, uh, uh, S parameter file. So if the, if the phase shift comes out to be a certain phase shift and then it, it, it with the four bit, as we said, it is possible only the uh, closest uh, phase shift of the 16 discrete values and the S parameter file measured for that particular phase shift um, uh, is chosen and then uh, applied to the signal. When we do this, since S parameter file can account for not only the phase shift, if there is any insertion loss, it will take into account. If the phase shift is a function of frequency, it will take into account. And if there is a mismatch at the input and output, it will take that also into account. So bringing S parameter files is almost like um, connecting a part with the, with the best perfect model into the simulation. Let's go and then simulate this and then see what happens to the far field. Again, we have to go and um, uncomment this part of the equations as well. And then we run the simulation and then uh, let's tile vertically. Um, maybe uh, we don't need this window so let's close the uh, let's leave it there and then tile vertical so this is ideal this is quantized and then you can see that the s parameter files have a significant effect on uh, on the pattern we can also go in and make measurements on the pattern for example we can go and examine the data set and we have all the information here. Uh, we have the, uh, uh, the measured EIRP uh, at, at the theta and phi. We can go in and examine the same. And then uh, array measurement EIRP at phi, theta and phi minus 7.177 ERP at this one. So here is how the comparison goes. Um, this one is with the ideal uh, EIRP with the phase quantization, no phase quantization and no attenuation. And then we have the EIRP, the quantization applied, uh, but, but still we have ignored uh, the insertion loss of the phase shifter and then the phase shift of the attenuator. Then we brought in the practical S parameters and then you can see the difference, uh, how, it, uh, how much different it causes 
uh, to the actual uh, simulation, the ideal simulations that we performed. So this will clear, clearly take your design much closer to the hardware realization. Thank you for watching this video.